Hello everyone, it is currently 3 p.m. here in Australia and at 11 p.m. there's going to be another Pokemon presentation. Thank you very much Pokemon Company for doing it at 11 p.m. Australia time. But anyway, before we get to that, let's go over some things. So obviously this time last week there was another Pokemon presentation when they announced Pokemon Smile, some Sword and Shield DLC stuff, the, the cafe thing, Pokemon Snap, the new version, some exciting stuff, and mostly not any huge news, like no big new games. But apparently today they're going to be announcing something big, a bigger game. The announcement will be bigger. They use some sort of terminology like that. There is another big project we're working on that I still want to share with you. Thoughts? Predictions? Feelings? So naturally, the internet is ablaze with speculation, and a lot of people are assuming that it's going to be Pokemon Let's Go Johto versions. By which of course I mean a similar style to Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, but in the Johto region, so gold and silver, and crystal. But it could also feasibly be the Pokemon Sinnoh remake, so Pearl, Platinum, and Diamond. Because of course they've already remade the first three generations of Pokemon, They've in fact done Gen 1 twice. They did Fire Red and Leaf Green, and then they did Let's Go Eevee, Let's Go Pikachu, and of course they've done Soul Silver Hearts Gold, and Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. So it is time that they did the remake of Gen 4. However, most of the hints seem to be indicating that it's going to be Pokemon Let's Go Johto, whatever they decide to call it. And I, for one, would be very happy with that. Soul Silver is my favourite Pokemon game in the series thus far. Absolutely loved Gold and Silver. In no other Pokemon game can you revisit old regions and get the old badges as well. 16 badges in total. 251 Pokemon. It's a good amount. It's a good... Overall, it was a good game. So you may be wondering, why is everyone assuming that it's going to be Pokemon Let's Go Johto? Why can't it be Sinnoh or something else? Well, if you look at last week's Pokemon presentation, you'll notice a couple of hints that are about as subtle as a brick to the face. Look in the background here. Look at the plushies that they've chosen to feature. On the left, we've of course got Ho-Oh and Lugia, the legendary birds from Gold and Silver. And then we've got Lapras and Mewtwo, we're gonna ignore them. And then over just to the right, we've got Typhlosion and Feraligatr, and there's probably a bay leaf hiding behind his head. These are of course the final evolutions for the starter Pokemon in Gold and Silver. And then next to them, we've got the legendary dogs from Gold and Silver. Then in the top left-hand corner, we've got Politoed, which was of course added in Gold and Silver as a new evolution to Poliwhirl. And then we've got Soto Wudo and Ampharos, which both serve quite important roles in the overall story of Gold and Silver. So if you remember up north of Goldenrod, you get a Soto Wudo in your way and you have to spray it with a water bottle before you can progress through the game. And then just to the right of Soto Wudo, you've got Ampharos, which you have to help out at the top of the lighthouse. And then down next to the legendary dogs, we've got a Slowpoke, because there was the whole story near the Lake of Rage about I think Team Rocket wanted to capture the Slowpoke and cut off their tails, and then there was a Slowpoke well. I haven't played the games in a while, but it's something along these lines. And then just underneath Slowpoke, you'll notice the least subtle hint possible, and that is the box for the special edition Pokemon Let's Go Eevee Switch. Here's one I prepared earlier. Ooh, shiny. And in front of that, you've got Umbreon, Espeon, and Eevee. Umbreon and Espeon, of course, being new evolutions that were first introduced in Johto. Now some people are taking this to the next level and they believe the new games are going to be called Pokemon Let's Go Umbreon and Let's Go Espeon, with the two of them being the new starters for the games in place of Pikachu and Eevee. I'm not sure about this because obviously it would be a little bit weird to use second evolution Pokemon as the starting Pokemon. I mean of course now that they've introduced Pichu, that makes Pikachu a second evolution Pokemon, but like it's, it's a little bit different. I don't know if there's a lot of sense in starting off with a level 5 second evolution Pokemon. But then again, does it make less sense than having a level 100 Eevee or Pikachu that can't evolve? I don't know. I wouldn't say no to this, but I just don't think it's the most likely option. Also of note, if you look on the left-hand middle shelf, you'll see that there's a Sandshrew and an Alolan Sandshrew. Now hopefully this is sort of just indicating that they're going to be bringing back Alolan forms like they had in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, and my hope is that they're also going to introduce Galarian forms as well. I mean, they did just add a bunch of Galarian Pokemon into Pokemon Go. Now, looking back at Pokemon Let's Go Eevee and Let's Go Pikachu, these were of course based on Pokemon Yellow, or Pokemon Special Pikachu Edition. As most Pokemon fans will be aware, up until Pokemon Black and White, they used to come out with two versions for each series, followed by a third, slightly enhanced version sometime later. Gold and Silver had Crystal, Ruby and Sapphire had Emerald, Diamond and Pearl had Platinum. But anyway, one of the main differences in yellow from red and blue was the fact that you started off with a Pikachu and your rival started out with an Eevee, which is the basis of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. But in Crystal, you started out with a choice of the normal Jojo starters, Totodile, Chikorita, or Cyndaquil. 
There was no special starter in this version. So I guess it raises the question, if this is a new Pokemon Let's Go, Pokemon Let's Go who? The internet seems to be set on Meryl, being one of the very first Gen 2 Pokemon to be announced, and I tend to agree here. Meryl seems like a good option. From what I've seen, the most common guess after this seems to be Togepi. And I, I get it, it's one of the first Pokemon from Gen 2 announced as well. Misty hatched one in the original anime series and everyone was like, what the hell is that? That's a new Pokemon, that's not one of the 151. And of course, Misty spent the whole time carrying it around and if you use a Togepi as a buddy in Pokemon Go, you carry it like Misty carried it. But I just don't feel like it's gonna be Togepi. I mean, I could be proved completely wrong in about eight hours, but we'll see. I'm putting my money on Snubble. I personally think that Snubble would be a better fit. I think Snubble and Meryl just pair well together. The colors sort of complement each other. If you think about the game cases, what they look like, here are some designs. I feel like the pink and the blue, yeah, they look good together. Much better than blue and off-white for Togepi. I mean, it's entirely possible that I'm basing this whole hypothesis on the fact that they appeared together in Pikachu's Vacation back in 1998. Remember that? No? I do. After Ho-Oh and Togepi, they may have even been the first ones announced. I do wonder how Pokemon like Meryl and Togepi would function as your buddies though, because, buddies, because in Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, Eevee sat on the head and Pikachu sat on the shoulder, whereas a Pokemon like Meryl or Togepi is essentially a ball with short stubby limbs. How's it gonna hold on? Like you can't run around holding them the whole time because the trainer needs to have the use of their arms. Can a Meryl hold onto your shoulder with its little arms? Can a Togepi? But maybe they'll just follow along after you and they won't have the other Pokemon following after you anymore because that's too much of an effort to animate 251 Pokemon to follow after you. I'll be interested to see what they do here. Another possibility for starter Pokemon that I really appreciated were these. Of course, there is still the possibility of Umbreon and Espeon and they do logically make a good pair, but I just don't see it happening. Moving on to my hopes for the game, like my wildest wishes if it does turn out to be true. Assuming that they do make these games and assuming that they stick to the original 251 Pokemon that you could find in Pokemon Silver and Gold, just as they stuck to the original 151 plus Meltan and Melmetal in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, one thing that I would love for them to do is to introduce the pre-evolutions and evolutions for Kanto and Johto Pokemon that didn't appear until later on in the series, in further generations. Although I do understand sticking to the original 151 Pokemon in Let's Go Eevee and Pikachu, and it was kind of good not having to collect 800 plus Pokemon, what felt weird to me was not having the option to evolve Onix into Steelix or Poliwhirl into Politoed or Slowpoke into Slow King, Gloom into Blossom. Obviously they didn't exist in the original red, blue, green, yellow games. But knowing that they're an option, knowing that they are a possibility of evolution now, it felt weird not having the option. Like they're there, but they're just out of reach. So in a potential Let's Go Johto, I'm not saying include all 800 plus Pokemon, but I'd love the ability to evolve Piloswine into Mamoswine or Murkrow into Haunchcrow, as well as pre-evolutions like Bonsly and Mime Jr. Like you shouldn't be able to just find them in the wild, but if you had a Soda Wudo and you bred it, that you, you could get a Bonsly. <laughs> that would be great. And even possibly Mr. Rhyme, if they choose to add Galarian versions into this game like they did Alolan versions into Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, then you could get those evolutions as well. But this is sort of a wild wish because while I was thinking about this, I realized just how many pre-evolutions and evolutions they have added since Gold and Silver. So it will be a lot of Pokemon to animate, particularly if they choose to have them follow you around like they did in Let's Go Eevee and Pikachu. Jumping back to the screenshot real quick, you'll probably notice there's also a couple of Detective Pikachus hanging around. So it wouldn't be surprising if they also announced something about the next Detective Pikachu game, some footage from that and stuff. I'm less excited about this. I haven't played the first Detective Pikachu, but I am in the Detective Pikachu movie. Famous. <laughs> the presentation is meant to go for 11 minutes, so it wouldn't surprise me if there was more than just one game announced. So those are my predictions and hopes for this Pokemon presentation. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. I mean, they could just surprise all of us and just announce a new Pokemon Coliseum or something, but we'll see. If you like this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. It helps out my algorithm. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Click on that face, subscribe to my channel. Click on a video here to watch another video, probably my reaction to tonight's presentation once I film that. And I'll see you next time. Bye.